Today we are going to make the main ingredient of Benadryl, which is diphenhydramine. Keep in mind that this is a failed preparation, so I didn't succeed, but I'll try it again. We need dimethylaminoethanol, hydrobromic acid, benzhydrol, potassium carbonates and distilled water. I started off by weighing out the benzhydrol, which will be reacted with a massive excess, a 300% excess to be precise, of hydrobromic acid to make diphenylbromomethane. It was added to a small round bottom flask, followed by the most important ingredient, which was a stirfish. I measured out the hydrobromic acid, added it to the benzhydrol, stopped at the flask and let the mixture stand overnight, because I didn't have time to continue today. The next day reflux was set up and I refluxed the mixture for one and a half hours. After I was finished we were left with this oily layer and the layer on top should be the diphenylbromomethane. It was quickly separated out using a syringe, which is a really crude method, but I got all of the aqueous solution out of the syringe and it should be fairly pure. When compared to an empty syringe, we collected 22.8 grams of bromodiphenylmethane. The bromodiphenylmethane was put into another flask without further purification and I then calculated how much dimethyl amino ethanol needed to be used. I used two times as much as we actually needed. Laboratorium Discounter also sells the TCI chemical, so make sure to use my discount code if you order there. The dimethyl amino ethanol was simply squirted to the diphenyl bromomethane. It was then refluxed for two hours. An etherification should take place, a very special one, I follow the patterns which are linked down in the description, in which case diphenhydramine hydrobromide should be produced. However, the substance looked tar-like. The mixture was then put quickly into a beaker containing distilled water, followed by some potassium carbonates, because I hoped that I could get free-based diphenhydramine by doing this. Free-based diphenhydramine should be nearly insoluble in water, while the salts are somewhat soluble. This however didn't work, I ended up with an oil, tried to dissolve it in hydrochloric acid again to get at least some sort of product, but it stayed in oil and it failed. I am going to try this again in the future, using a different method, so stay tuned.